today we are going to discuss about the common base configuration in the case of common base configuration base is connected to ground then that is called your common base configuration if the base is connected to ground it is called common base configuration and input is emitted output is collector okay now here we are going to observe the input and output characteristics of your common emitter configuration sorry common base configuration for input characteristics these are drawn between the input voltage versus input current here these are drawn between the input voltage versus input current whenever the output voltage is constant whereas input voltage is veb input current is ie output voltage is vcb okay now we need to place output voltage as constant that is of zero case one five in case two 10 volts in case three and thereafter we need to apply the supply voltage that means by varying the supply voltage we need to note down this voltage across the transistor input side current through the transistor input side like this we need to note down the values okay now if you observe here up to certain voltage the current has zero after cutting voltage the current is suddenly increased that is what we need to observe in the case of common base input okay now when you keep the output voltage from 0 to 5 that means when you increase the output side voltage from 0 to 5 in this case also the current increased from 1.7 to 2.9 with the same value of the input voltage across the transistor say if you observe here for 0.5 we got 0 for 0.5 here we got as 0.5 for 0.4 here we got as 0 here we got as 0.2 that means when compared to these values these values are going to increase similarly when compared to these values these values are going to increase that is what we need to in observe in the case of common base configuration input graph okay this is these characteristics are similar to your key injunction diode voltage current characteristics okay now see the output characteristics of common base configuration these are drawn between the output voltage versus output current whenever the input current is constant now i'm taking the input current as ib ig ie emitted current why because base is connected to ground ie as input now here ie is equal to 2 milliamps first case 4 milliamps second case 6 milliamps in second third case now we need to note on the respect to output voltage and output current okay whereas here we got the constant values here we are going to get the constant values in the case of cb output okay now from these input values we can calculate the input resistance input resistance is defined as which is ratio of change in input voltage to the change in input current okay here i take in this change in input voltage 0.7 to 0.6 10.3 1.7 now see so here 0.4 minus 0.6 by 10.3 minus 1.7 i got the value as 0 0.0116 kilo ohm similarly we can calculate output resistance is defined as output voltage to the output current okay now i take in this 4 minus 2 by 2.1 minus 2 okay now i got this one as 0.95 kilo ohms okay this is for common base configuration so similarly we can discuss for common emitter also now see here for common emitter configuration now see here in the case of common emitter configuration emitter is connected to ground and base as input collector as output here also these input characters are drawn between the input voltage versus input current whenever the output voltage is constant that means vc must be constant vc is 0 volts vc is 3 volts vc is 6 volts so these also similar to your CB input characteristics. Okay. You observe here. After certain voltage, there is a sudden increase in the current from 0.7 to 7.2, 0 0.8 to 11.4, 1.7 to 16.8. And similarly, you can observe at 0 volts, these are the values. At 3 volts, the values are going to increase when compared to 0 volts. That means 7.2 to 11.4. Similarly, when compared to these values, these values are going to increase here 11.4 to 16.8 okay this is what we need to observe in the case of cv configuration input and 
if you observe the output, these are output is drawn between the output voltage versus output current. Whenever the input current is constant, that means we need to take input current as some IE, IB is called 10, 20, 30 like that. And we need to note down the output voltage as well as output current from these meters. Okay. Now, in this case, also we are going to calculate the input resistance as well as output resistance. Input resistance is defined as input voltage to the input current. In this case, what is input voltage? VB. What is input current? IB. Now, say VB by IB. Now, I am taking 0.8 minus 0.7 by 7.2 minus 0.7. Now, I got 0 0.015 kilo ohms. Similarly, here also output voltage to the output current is called your output resistance. Now, I take it as 0.3 minus 0.2 by 0.2 minus 0.1. I got it as 1 kilo ohms. Okay. This is about your CE configuration. Okay. Thank you.